So to be a, a member, to be a useful um, instrument in God's in God's call in your life does not always mean to do something easy or appealing or something that on the surface most people would go to church would even look at as, oh really I get to do this? Now, it's only until we truly see the, the power and the, the strength in God that we realize that even the most daunting tasks are, are the most sentimental, are the most important. Anything that comes from God, um, whether dangerous or non-dangerous, um, beautiful or ugly, anything that comes from God, any, any task that's set before us is one that, one that is an honor. And um, therefore, I don't consider there any um, bad tasks. I consider there tasks that are dangerous and, and tasks that are a little more of an uphill battle. Um, but that's life. So, Isaiah uh, was called um, to, to turn the people of Judah, to talk to the people of Judah, and basically tell them that God was going to destroy them. Um, he said, um, go to the people of Judah, and uh, to Isaiah, and, and tell them that they are um, they're ever hearing but never understanding, um, they're ever seeing but never perceiving. His, his goal was to make the heart of the people calloused um, so in hope they would come to repentance. Now, basically, God has a willing soul, Isaiah, and this is truly a staple of what it means to be a Christian. Isaiah comes to God and says, how can you use me? And um, God says, okay, Isaiah, go to these people and tell them that they are ever hearing, but they're not understanding. Um, it's like talking to a brick wall. Tell them, you know, that they see but they don't perceive, and and that God is is going to to ruin them and destruct them. Now, that is a hard task, and the beauty of this task is is one that Isaiah obeys, but two that Isaiah will strongly have to have full dependency on God to do this because it is such a daunting task. There's not a positive message. Um, there, well, I mean, there is in the sense that God will, uh, we'll get to that, but, you know, these people are not going to look at it as positive. These people are going to, the people of Judah that have turned their backs are not going to be happy about this. And, and that's, um, what a lot of, a lot of churches do today is, is they preach, um, only the good side of the Bible. They don't preach the ugly side, the side that needs to be taught. So anyways, Isaiah goes to these people and, and and he says and Isaiah says to God before he he begins, he says, How long should I do this? Um I'm assuming he thought it was gonna be a tough task, which it is. And God says a multitude of things, but in verse uh, thirteen of chapter six, God says, And though a tenth remains in the land, it will be laid again to waste. So Basically, God wants to shut these people down in hopes that they will turn, the people of Judah will turn and come to repentance. And Isaiah is the spokesperson, he's the messenger to, to let them know the, um, the God-awful truth of their, their turning their backs and, and what they're going to have to face. See, and this is so symbolic because um, we're, all, we're all going to suffer for Christ. Um, the answer is, how many of us will remain in that suffering and how, much, how many of us will turn our backs? Um, the key is to be aware that the whole Bible is not sunshine and roses. There, there will be suffering and there will be fighting for God and there will be, there will be um, hard to handle things that happen if you're only looking at one side of this. Um, so that's basically what I got, um, out of, uh, Isaiah 6, um, basically everything from verse 1 up until, um, up until verse 13 is kind of what I'm looking at right now. So, with that in mind, I, I hope that somebody got something out of this today, and I will catch you later.